Hello and welcome to 4AM Art. This is Justin and today I'm going to show you how to draw this rose on gray paper. So what you'll need is any black pencil as well as a white pencil. In this case I'm using General's Charcoal White. So the first thing of course is to start blocking in your rose and the way I go about doing this is I start with drawing the inner petals first and don't worry about being super accurate about this. The way I'll, I go about it then is to just draw one petal first and then draw the petals that are around it. And I'll draw those shapes and sizes based on what I've already drawn. So I'm always comparing and looking as well as the negative shapes that are outside of the rows. So constantly look at your reference picture and you know just try to be as accurate as you can but like I said don't worry if you're not if it's not perfect so the whole idea of using gray papers of course it makes it a little bit more interesting in that you're not just using plain white but the gray color actually takes up the middle tones of your drawing the tones that are in between the super highlight bright areas and the dark shadows so looking at your reference picture start by drawing and putting in the highlights and for this rose it's fairly clear lay down a solid white tone for the brightest areas and of course you'll want to do a little bit of a gradient leading towards the middle tones so just like always um, just lighten up on the pressure that you put on the pencil and on the paper and get those gradients uh, more or less the way you want it. You can constantly sharpen this as well depending on the details that you want. Um, you can also shade by using a blending stump or sometimes I'll use my finger but it's not as accurate of course and you leave oils which you may not want to do. So just continue on um, looking at all the bright tones. You can always go back and forth, don't forget. Don't feel that the initial tones that you put down is final. Okay, so now I'm taking my pencil and starting to put in the shadows. Now you may want to start with not quite dark, the darkest tones initially. You can always go back and make them darker. But there are areas, of course, that you know that are going to be the darkest. So you could go ahead and make those super dark. You could leave more or less of the gray tones showing. Uh, for s parts of these petals, I did not leave as much of the gray tones, the, the color of the paper alone. But, you know, do what you you want, what looks pleasing to you. And I'm making this a little bit more graphic in that I'm actually putting in an outline on the petals. So here I'm switching back to my white pencil just to fine tune things again. Like I said, don't for, don't my, don't worry about trying to switch back and forth um, to get the effect that you want. So here I'm putting in some of the gray tones that are right next to the highlight. And fine tuning the final shapes as well of the petals here by putting in my outline. You do not have to do an outline of course but it clarifies the petals a little bit better. So here I'm carefully putting in the darkest shadows. These are where the darkest tones are. And again, lightening up on the pressure of the pencil to get lighter tones as it approaches the highlight areas. And this part as well is kind of dark. 
you can use whatever pencil strokes you want depending on the effect you want you could even use hatch cross hatch lines although I'm more or less trying to get a smoother gradient as I can but feel free to experiment for sure So as I mentioned before, the gray paper helps to show the middle tones and the other pencils then hit the highlights with the white and the pencils shows the darkest tones. Notice here that I didn't leave as much of the gray um, paper showing for the mid tones for this particular petal. But I left the bottom part uh, free. So experiment with this. And I want to also mention that there's also another color that's available, uh, colored tan paper. So depending on the effect you want, you may want to try that as well. But definitely it's an interesting way of uh, drawing and fun to play with. Uh, let's you kind of look at your reference picture a little bit differently with having to use a white pencil for the highlights. So I hope you found this useful and informative. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next video. Have a great day. Bye.